Hi, I'm Kendra Winchester. Welcome back to my channel. Now, the day after Christmas, most people know as Boxing Day. But here in the U.S., where we don't really have Boxing Day, it really, for bookish people anyway, it just should be called Book Outlet Sale Day because that's when everyone, like, goes and goes crazy on Book Outlet. And so I bought some books from Book Outlet, so I'm here to tell you about them. And yeah, there are several here and I'm going to start with the books that I actually have read and then we'll move into the books where I know very little about them, but I'll tell you why I picked them up. Um, there is a method to my madness. So the first one is one I actually already read and this is Furthermore by Tara Hal Mafi. This is one I did read on audio earlier um, in the year and I reviewed that. I'll link it up above my head and down below and you can go check that out but this is a just an adorable little book middle reader book about a girl who was born completely white her hair is white her eyelashes are white her skin is white 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 but she lives in a world of color and so she is pretty much devalued because of that she feels like she doesn't have the skill um, that other people have anyway it's pretty adorable so I went ahead and got it and this one is from Dutton uh, a book from uh, Bloomsbury is this one, and this is Salvage the Bones by Desmond Ward. Now, I want to get all of these new covers, Bloomsbury and Scribner, uh, Desmond Ward's two main publishers, published new covers, matching covers, so that across the books that she has published with two different publishers, they all match now. So, I, this is the first one, and I can't believe that this was in on book outlet but this is the first one and I also want to get uh, Where the Lion Bleeds and Men We Reaped and Sing Unburied Sing when it finally comes out in paperback and they will all match and they will join Virginia Woolf downstairs and be on display so these will be so I now own three copies of this book um no shame no shame this one's from HarperCollins and this is The Givenness of Things by Marilyn Robinson. I read this when it first came out. This is her essay. It has a lot of theological themes because it's Mar Marilyn Robinson, but also how that applies to a lot of hot topics today. I just love that about Marilyn Robinson, how she as a theologian, as a female theologian, is able to bring so much to the table. And uh, she also talks about Calvin in here because she loves Calvin and a lot of different things. I will say I feel like these are really in-depth essays and sometimes I definitely feel like if you hadn't studied or studied theology uh, to a certain degree you would be kind of lost but overall she is really fantastic and I don't really think that's a bad thing. I mean I want something in-depth who can write in a literary way about theology so that's fine but just FYI going into this one. But I love her. So next one I have is from Ace Books and this is Sorcerer to the Crown. This is about a guy who is the Sorcerer to the Crown but he lives in like a Victorian era type England of course he does and but he has dark skin. He was adopted kind of idea uh, and so a lot of people are really upset uh, because a black man is now the Sorcerer to the Crown and so he's having a lot of struggle dealing with that but also he finds a woman who is I believe she's half Indian and uh, so she's also dark skinned and she's also full of magical ability but in this time women aren't supposed to use magic. So this the entire story is just really fascinating and enjoyable. It's also a gateway drug I used to get my friend Autumn into fantasy and she really liked this one and so we're working our way in. Uh, but I really love this so even non-fantasy lovers will love this one. This has so many things for it and the next one's coming out later this year or early next year and I was like I should just pick it up. I should finally just buy myself a copy. And I did. Next one is a book I'm very surprised I don't own yet, and that is Girls and Sex, uh, Navigating the Complicated New Landscape by Peggy Orenstein. This is a book about young women, uh, girls in high school and college, and having to deal with the new sexual expectations. Peggy Orenstein was our runner-up for the Reading Win Award nonfiction, the very first award that we did in 2016. And she talks a lot about how the sexual culture of young people, women have certain expectations put on them and they feel like the social norm is for them to do certain things with guys. The bases have changed. We always, you know, we talk about the bases in baseball uh, and those have changed. She talks about that. She talks about um, how in college, you know, like the whole frat scene, a lot of things she wants women to be educated on. She wants the parents to talk to their kids, that girls can say no 
if they want to say no. They shouldn't feel pressured to do things with people just because that is the norm. He wants to use this book to encourage parents or really any adults to talk to their uh, sons uh, and daughters about this topic. The overall message is fantastic and I just love Peggy Ornstein. So I'm very happy to finally own this one. Next one's from Riverhead and this is Barbara the Slut and Other Stories. This is by Lauren Holmes. This is one I heard Rebecca Shinsky talking about in all the books and I've had my eye on this. One of the stories, the most memorable one, would be a law student going to work at a sex toy shop. And there's just a lot of quirky stories about women in this book. I don't know if I'll like it, um, but I'm hoping I will. And so uh, I also saw it on Hoopla as well. So we'll see what happens with this one, but it looks really quirky and I really just want more short story collections in my life. So we'll see. We'll see what happens with it. I have high hopes. Some of my high hopes. I'm hopeful. There we go. That one I have not read, by the way. We're now heading into the unread section. The next in the unread section is once again Marilyn Robinson, and this is When I Was a Child I Read Books. This is an essay collection, and this has the title essay about more of an autobiographical account of when she was a child she read books. Um, but this is one of her early essay collections. I believe this is from FSG. No, it's also from HarperCollins. Uh, she switched publishers to FSG later, I believe. Um, so I'm wanting to go back and read more for other essay collections. I've read almost everything she's written that's been in a book form. So this is one I haven't read and I'm very much looking forward to reading more Marilyn Robinson. I just love her again to pieces. So that is all. So the next two kind of go together and as you know I really love The Only Hearts Are Tell by Heather O'Neill. So I picked up um, Daydreams of Angels um, from FSG and The Girl Who Was Saturday Night. Uh, this is from HarperCollins. Uh, both of these were on um, the sale, and this one's a short story collection, this one's a novel. So I'm hoping I will also like them. I don't really know anything about them, but they're written by Heather O'Neill. That's really all I need to know, guys. So they also sound magical and uh, French Canadian and all the things that Heather O'Neill loves. The next one is one that I am really excited to find. So I heard about the lady in the Borzoi from uh, the uh, New York Times Book Review podcast. And this is about Blanche Knopf. And Knopf, as we know, is a imprint that has the dog like bounding, you know what I'm saying? That that one, okay? So we all know that Knopf is that imprint with the dog like bounding. It's a borzoi. And so this is the lady with the borzoi. And this is actually her bor borzoi that is the imprint's like logo. Blanche also worked in, in Knopf, but she was very much underappreciated, of course. Here is her dog. There you go. <laughs> this is by Laura Claridge, and this is actually published by FSG, not Knopf. But this is about Blanche and how she influenced uh, and was a tastemaker at the imprint and how she's very much underappreciated. So of course this is about publishing. I'm a publishing nerd. It's about women being underrepresented in books and all the things. I'm so excited about this book. So when I saw it, I was like, yes, hand me a copy. I'm so glad I found it. I had had it on a list somewhere, but then I forgot about it, which is absolutely horrible. I cannot believe it. The last one I have is one I don't really have much to talk about. It's from Henry Holt, and this is Bringing Up Bodies by Hilary Mantel. The second one in the Thomas Cromwell trilogy. I got the first book in my other haul um, I got with Christmas money. So I got this one for the book depository from book depository because I was like, yes, I need this. So I'm going to just quit wiggling around. Uh, tell me if you have enjoyed any of those books or any of them are on your TBR. I'm very much looking forward to them. But that really is it for me. And I guess I'll talk to you later. Bye guys. <laughs>